what lessons have you learned in this chair that you might not have learned walking? To say, hey, you. <laughs> yeah, if you get hungry enough, you'll stop someone on the street and ask them to help you to get a bite of this burger. It's, you just do things out of necessity. Um, you make adjustments. Life is an adjustment. Okay, how then would you share with somebody, whether they have just been put into a wheelchair or it's a health issue or whatever their struggle is that's hard for them, what would you say to them to help them have the attitude that you are displaying right now? I don't like to deal with handicapped people. They make me nervous. Okay. They, they expect you to have a little formula to give to them. And honestly, I do not have a formula to give to handicapped people. Uh, I haven't had one. It is the grace of God that has enabled me. I, I could have been as discouraged and depressed and despondent as any man who ever lived were it not for the grace of God in Christ Jesus. It's providence. Now, having said that, there have been some times when I have gotten up really close, invaded their space, and suggested that they get off their rear end and get going. Quit sitting around feeling sorry for yourself and get up and live life. You claim to be a Christian, act like it. There's a certain amount of joy that transcends all physical ailments. And so I, I probably would never have made it as a counselor, would I? <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of cake to pass out our gospel DVD, The Biggest Question. See? But if you're afraid to do it, we've got teams all over college campuses around the country. Here you go. Passing out The Biggest Question. It's a perfect gospel presentation, but we need for you to pay for them. It's called The Biggest Project. Get involved. Find out more at Wretched. Here you go, sir. Dot TV. All right. Sweet. And no one.